name is Mitch Turner and I'm the director of London's Little Venice Cake Company. In my new book, Mitch Turner's Cake Masterclass, I give you all the tips and tools of my trade to ensure that you create the perfect cake for every occasion. I'm going to show you how to make a sugar rose. It's one of the simplest techniques that you can use in cake decorating. I'm working with a ball of sugar paste. I'm working with a clear plastic pouch that I've picked up from a stationer's where I've trimmed the end and trimmed the side so it will open up. And I'm working with a blade. It's always really important to use fresh sugar paste because that way you'll get a lovely smooth finish without it going crumbly. When you need the sugar paste, it's a good idea not to work with any extra icing sugar. This way you're not drying the sugar paste itself out. And I'm kneading this paste by going round and round in a circle on the work surface to the point where the paste becomes nice and pliable and malleable, but not to the point where it becomes sticky. This way it's going round and round, it's bringing all the creases into the centre and helping to expel any of the air bubbles. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to now roll this into a nice sausage, the thickness of which will dictate how big the rose is that you make. Very, very fine sausage, you'll get smaller roses. The thicker sausage will get the nice big chunky roses. And once you've rolled that out, always make sure that the seam is in contact with the table. And then with a sharp blade, just remove the excess from the end so that you're working with a nice sharp piece to start with. And I'm going to cut six discs, each of which should be about three to four millimetres. Once you have got your six discs, lift the plastic pouch open and then gently lay them so that the flat part that was in contact with the table is facing you and the rounded part of the petal is laying away from you on all of the six discs. The reason I use the pouch is because it helps to smooth the petals without them sticking and create a lovely sheen and shine to them. Now with the base of the thumb, just going to gently press each petal to start with. This starts the forming process. You don't want to press too hard to the point where you squish the petals so hard that they actually start to tear or get stuck inside the pouch. And then with your thumb, going to gently run around the edge of each petal from one side to the other, but not touching the base. And what this will do is thin the petal out and give it a lovely shape. Don't be tempted to press the petal because this will put marks into it and not create a lovely smooth finish on there. And what I'm doing is I'm running my thumb half on the petal, half on the paper, so that it's thinning it out but it's not tearing it. Once you've smoothed each petal, lift the pouch open and then look for what you perceive to be the smallest, which for me is this one. And then with the thumb, gently rub the base of it that we didn't touch, the chunky part, and that will help to release it from the paper without tearing it. And as you rub, it naturally puts a curl in the petal and always remember to turn the petal over so the curl is working away from you. Now with the first one, you curl up from one side straight across to the other by going as tight as you can to make a lovely, neat, tight curl along that rose petal to make the central cone so that you create a lovely curled up centre. Now it will have a seam on there, a join, and what's important is that when we rub the second petal off and turn it over, we lay that seam right in the centre of that second petal, halfway along, halfway down. As you pinch that petal all the way around, you'll see that the top of it is higher than the first one we created. Just use your finger to gently curl that down, then lift it in the centre, give it a little pinch. And turn that one around ready so that the seam is ready to go on the third petal. Exactly the same idea, lay it in the centre, gather that petal around, roll it down, lift and give it a little pinch. Now the final three petals go around in one row around the outside of the rows we're starting to form. So lift up the first one and I put this one behind the seam join of the first rows there. Curl it down, lift and pinch. The second one will start behind that first one and come another third of the way around. Roll it down. And then the final one will go behind that one all the way back to the beginning. There. And what you've created now is a rose where all of the trumpety part is down underneath and then with a sharp blade lift it up and then slice it off underneath and there you have your hand moulded rose. Now for these you can make and let them set overnight so they're nice and firm. Good thing to do is to dredge them with some nice glitter, make them in chocolate and have a wonderful party. <laughs>